Hey everyone, my name is Jamie Prickett. I'm the CEO with Experior Financial Group. I'm here with one of Experior's finest, Frank DeLeo. Uh, Frank is an executive director with Experior. Uh, he's built an incredible organization. Um, Frank, tell us a little bit about your business. Where are you at with things right now? Um, as we record this, by the way, it is um, November 28th. Yep, November, November 28th. November 28th, 2018. So Frank, where's your business at? Um, where's our business at? I mean, it's it's one of those things, Jamie, where it's like, it's unbelievable where it's at, but it needs to be bigger, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm I'm proud first off of our executive director team, uh, you know, just uh, just a fine fine group of people, you know, Laval, Rayon, Neela, Tarek, Jennifer, Francis, and Diane, Zaki and Asaf, uh, Veronique, Rakesh, Amy, Maribel, Ida. And Ida, but I think I think those are only the first and second gens. After yeah. second gen, I don't know who they are it's anymore. Crazy. Right? But yeah, there's yeah. a lot. There's there's Great Ida, there's yeah. uh, Domingo, there's yeah. so many T more. T Ruz, I mean, there's a bunch in Alberta that is still, you know, about Jeet's part of that too. That's right. right. You yeah. know? So yeah. just you know, blessed, man. Blessed Jamie to be with this company. We're we're by the way, just you know, at this time, three years ago, so we, we stopped talking. Wow. Right? Three years ago we stopped talking. And we almost didn't come here. Almost didn't join us. It was I remember this time that. where we that. almost didn't join three years I ago. I wasn't upset at all. No, man. But, <laughs> but hey, uh, you know, life leaves clues and you handled that like a champ. Yeah. Because if you had uh, handled it any differently, you might have turned us off, right? That's right. Yeah. But you were such a professional with that yeah. that when we did make the second call, it was easy to make that second yeah. call again and say, hey, listen, we got to start talking again. Right on. Right? Awesome. But what's awesome, too, is, is uh, you know, the business, we're blessed. I'm thankful. Unbelievable numbers. 250 plus total licensed agents. Yeah. We do. That's only through first. Yeah. That's only through first. We do 150 to 175,000 through first. That's which right. is incredible. Pre premium. 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 Right. Yeah. But the other note. I'm just excited about where we're sitting right now, man. Yeah. This is my first time here at our unbelievable head office, guys, and to see where, where we came from three years ago. This place is spectacular. I just, yeah. you know, I'm so excited to build the company, you know, with this as the mothership. Yeah. This is the mothership, right? And yeah. we're going to build, and I'm just so proud of where we are and where we've come in three years and where you guys have come in five years. Yeah. Unflippin' believable, man. Awesome. Unbelievable. Well, appreciate yeah. that. And, and it's been a lot of hard work and sacrifice, but when you watch people that can change their lives and how you've changed your life in, in three years and we've become brothers to this whole yeah, process, man, man it's, <laughs> been, uh, it's been absolutely amazing. Um, what do you see you doing one year from today? That's what I, I want. I want you to share where your vision is for Xperior and also your vision, uh, because obviously being a shareholder of Xperior as our executive director team all are, um, where do you see Xperior in a year from now? And where do you see your business um, so in a year from now? That's awesome that you say that. Let me ask you a question though. Where were we as a company, Jamie, at the beginning of this year in terms of monthly premium? So as a company? Uh, I believe our biggest month ever going into this year was 324,000, which we achieved that in uh, November of last year. That right. was our biggest month ever. Right, so so that's what excites me because we just set a record this month. That's right, we last, last month. So last month, right? And this month we're already over, yeah. That's right, so I mean, we're excited because we're pushing three quarters of a million dollars of premium now, Yeah. right? And uh, as a company, I see us in a year from now doing you know two million a month yeah. premium as a company. Um, our organization, Jamie, the goal that we, that I had when I started here, you know, just shy of three years ago, you know, was in five years uh, uh, to develop 25 first generation executive directors nice. that are running a $20,000 base. Yep. Right, that'll be that'll be five hundred thousand of premium through first wow. in our organization. Right, we're halfway through. We're halfway to that goal. Yeah. Right. So I mean, next year I just see us getting closer to that. Um, you know, my my vision for for our business continue to work with our leaders, our yeah. executive directors, but you know, rebuild the base shop. Rebuild the base shop, rebuild the agency yep. for them. There, for those who don't know what base shop means, yeah. you know, build the agency and just start cranking that again and just start helping people reach their goals and dreams. That's the beautiful thing about Xperia. We help we help others reach their goals and dreams. We reach our goals and dreams. Yep. It's that simple, right? Yep. So I, a year from now in, in, in my business, you know, I, I want to be at 15 direct executive directors. We're at yep. seven now. We want to be at 15. Yep. You know, we want to double the business, right? We want to be running, you know, that 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 300,000 plus a yep. month of premium through first. Yep. That's got to be the game plan in a year from now. 
Yeah, well, and, I've, and I, I just want to add to that. So, so far your record is 187000 in uh, premium through first. That's right. Um, now, but through second, I believe you're probably 220000 230000 through second. Um, I believe, just so if you want to hear what I believe you can do, um, <laughs> I, I, and I believe this with everything in me, I believe that you'll be doing a million a month through first by this time next year. Wow. That, that's what I believe. Wow. Um, as an organization, I believe that we'll be able to do five million a month through wow. uh, the whole hierarchy um, by one year from today. You know, I, I, I figure we gotta think anyways, why not think big? And what's crazy is uh, Leanne and I started this year with some goals for the organization. And our goal was by the end of the year, we wanted to crack 100 recruits in a month. And when I say recruits, I'm not talking people we just throw against the wall and see if they stick. I'm talking, you know, solid people. A lot of them are licensed advisors, a lot of people joining the industry. and. You know, good people. You know, people that want to be in the in the financial services business. You know, we don't have to trick them. And and you know, here, here's the pen. I'll move the paper and get them to sign. You know, that kind of stuff. So yeah. we really we really take that serious that we have you know uh, a, a good caliber of advisors um, working with us. And we want to give anyone a chance. You know, if they got no criminal record, if they got a, a clean history and stuff, we really want to give them a shot. You know, if they feel like they're you know cut out to, to take a chance on this. Well, we started the year, Frank. Our goal by the end of the year was to be able to recruit 100 people in a single month. By March, we did it, awesome. you know? Awesome. And it's just and it's just been uh, unbelievable. So I started learning real quick with the, the system that, that Xperia is, we can all just start thinking wherever we're at, and like Grant Cardone says, go 10X. Think, yeah. think bigger than that. Yeah. You know, if you told me at the start of the year that we'll be doing, you know, we, we could still etch out a million this month. I still, we got, <laughs> we got a couple of days left. You but, uh, but, you know, uh, if you told me at the beginning of this year that we're going to do a million a month, I'd have believed you, but there'd be a part of me going, man, could we though? Like, really? Like, so, um, no, it's awesome. Yeah. So, Frank, in terms of your um, business, you've been in the industry now for 17 18. years. 18 years. Yep. So longer than my son. I've been 17 years now. Yep. So 18 years in the financial services industry. You joined us less than three years ago, right? You, you stopped talking to me three years ago this month, but then we started <laughs> talking again in a few more months. It'll be three years. Uh, so less than three years with us. I think at the end of February is when you officially came on board with us. Did you picture running a hierarchy across the entire country, offices in multiple provinces, you know, close to probably 300 or 400, maybe 350 licensed agents in your entire organization through the hierarchy. Did you picture that as being possible or what were your thoughts when, when we worked, uh, when we started working together? You know, it, uh, <laughs> it's awesome that you say that. When um, we started three years ago, you know, for me, there was a couple driving factors in making the decision. You know, the, the, I, I like to see the obvious ones were that, hey, this is going to be better for our clients from where we came from, better for our clients, hands sure. down. Sure. Better for our advisors. A lot of our advisors have doubled and tripled their income, yeah. uh, you know, from where we came from. And obviously better for my family, right? Yeah. There was no doubt about that. Those were kind of the three obvious reasons. Uh, Jamie, the two driving factors for me um, you know, was number one, I wanted to be challenged, right? I wanted to be challenged. I wanted to know if I had what it took to help put this company on the map. Yeah. That was the driving factor, driving force. Uh, the other thing was, this is a chance for us to hit the reset button. Even today, even at five years old with, with what, 900, 950 yep. agents, something like that. It's still an opportunity for so many advisors to hit the reset button and say, man, let's let's start with the company ground floor, right? So for me, those were the two big things and I, I haven't taken those for granted for the last three years, yeah. you know, and, and, and I won't because we have an opportunity of a lifetime right now. Um, you know, and, and you know, I look back at when we started and I think about what my mindset was and as much as I wanted all this, I wasn't sure. Yeah. You know, it was one of those things where it was like, I, I kind of took the advice that I give my own brokers where it's just put your head down, yeah. don't think about it, and just go do what you gotta do. Yeah. And that's kind of what I did. It was like, okay, don't think about it, put your head down, let's get to work. We're yeah. building a business here. Uh, I wanted it, I, I, I was hopeful, but the truth was, I wasn't sure. Yeah. I had no idea. You know, I, I remember, you know, in, in the old days, Jamie, one of the one of the things we always used to hear so much was if I knew 
it was going to be as good, good as it is now, I would have worked 10 times harder. Yeah. I remember when I used to hear that, I used yeah. to be like, come on, I, yeah. I don't believe that. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. If I knew it was going to be as good as it is now, I would have worked 10 times harder. Yeah. There's awesome. no doubt about it. So I'm excited about the next three, four years as we yeah. execute the rest of our five-year game plan. Yep. You know, to be at 25 direct EVs and writing 500,000 through first, you're telling me we're doing it next year. Yep. Like, unbelievable. Why right? not? Why not? You're right. Yep. Why not? Yep. Let's do it, right? But um, I'm just I'm just thankful. The, I've never in my life, yep. I've never in my life, I've never in my life ever felt so confident about what the future is going to look like. Yeah. Right, I've just I've never felt so confident about it, and That's so amazing. at peace about it, yeah. which is so awesome. That's amazing. Now you know that we have some plans next year. Um, if everything goes the way that we've been uh, working behind the scenes and some stuff that we, we that I can't share right yeah. at this <laughs> stage, um, you know we're going to be going to the United States. And, you know everything I've told you is happening, so that's going to happen too. What number of states do you consider uh, good to override for you? We well, gonna override every one of them. Listen, I'm, I'm gonna tell you. I'm tell you something right now, man. Listen, you know they're gonna have to beat me down at the border, right, to stop me from getting into <laughs> there because I've already started talking to Yolanda about it. Yeah, and, and I've already said to her, hey, listen, if we had to go to the states, we'd have to buy a second home. Yeah, I wouldn't want to just keep flying out and staying in hotels. That's right. Yeah, we have to buy a second home. That's so, right. Yep. So, what state do you want it, want us to start yeah. and be the the home base for us? Yeah. And the amazing part is, she's looking at me like I had four heads. Yeah. You know, and she's like, "Are you for real?" I'm like, "I'm for real, babe." She's like, "I, I have no idea." I'm like, "Start thinking about it." Yeah. Start thinking about it because we're heading to the states. Yep. Right, awesome. we're, we're doing it, man. And I'm not, I'm not talking about Buffalo. Right? Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not talking about Buffalo. Yeah, right? yeah. I'm talking like, where are we gonna go? You Texas, know? Florida, North Carolina, California, Florida, yeah. Florida, Cali. Yeah. Right, yeah. I don't know. Connecticut, why not yep. stay? Bo Let's go to Boston. I don't yep. know. Let's, yep. If you're a single, I'm, Vegas. I'm Vegas, right? <laughs> Arizona. We got family in Arizona. Yeah, we'll yeah. Start there. Yeah. I, I'm excited, man. It's That's it's awesome. it's gonna be unbelievable, and uh, uh, yeah. So I can't even imagine what's gonna be. Like. It's gonna be awesome. I got two more things I want to ask you and then we'll wrap it up. But number one, what advice do you have for the newest person watching this video? Just trying to learn a bit about who we are, you know, who's this Frank DeLeo guy? I've heard his name before, you know, Frank the Tank. Um, you know, and what's the CEO, Jamie Prickett all about? You know, people are watching this, you know, YouTube video, and what do, you, what do you gotta say to them? Like, the new person, the person that's just checking this out, you know, seeing if this is, you know, something that they wanna consider, or maybe they're already in the business, they're not sure what the next step is. Like, what do, what do you suggest to them? So many thoughts running through my head right now, man. So many thoughts. So, look, there's a couple things, right? You know, number one, the first thing that came to my mind is, you know, that quote from Ray Kroc about timing, mm -hmm. right? You know, timing, the two most important ingredients to success are being, you know, uh, at the right place at the right time yep. and doing something about it. That's yep. where most people fail. Right. That's where most people fail. My, my advice to the new person, whether you're checking us out or whether you're with us, is to continue to do something about it, to continue to take action. You know, uh, if, you're, if you're looking at the company, talk to the EDs, talk to Jamie, talk to whoever you have to talk to, continue to look. You know, continue to take action because most of us fail because we don't take the right action. You know, that that's the first thing that comes to mind. The second thing that comes to mind, Jamie, is what I'd say to my advisors in our office, in our branch, is this. You know, you know, I, I said it this morning during training. I said, put your hand up if you came to experience to become a financial advisor. Mm -hmm. And the truth is, we all should put our hands up because yeah. we are still financial advisors. Right. We, we, our client does not take a backseat. Our client is the most important thing. Without yep. our clients, we have nothing. That's right. There's nothing. Without, Absolutely. Okay. So our clients are the most important thing. But then I ask, you know, put your hand up if you came here to build a business of financial advisors. And, and that's my challenge to the new person is start thinking of this opportunity where you're the owner. You're the owner of your business. Mm -hmm. You're here not just to be the financial advisor. We want that, we yep. love that, but we want you as a partner, right? right. We, we want you as someone who's gonna you know, stake your claim in this company and, and, and look at it where you're building a company of financial yep. advisors and begin to take action on that part of the business. Right. And I think if more advisors uh, you know, took ownership, didn't feel like it wasn't their duty. No, you are the owner, guys. It is your duty to, to build that company of financial advisors and begin to take on that responsibility to work towards that, right? And, and I think if most people do that, um, they're, they're gonna build something special here. Yeah. They're gonna build something special because that is the opportunity that we have here, right? Awesome, excellent. Yeah. Last question for you. You know sometimes people will 
throw stones, you know, <laughs> or verbal, you know, they're, they're, they'll say this or they'll say that or, oh, I tried this or I tried that. What do you have to say um, for someone that's looking at this and wondering, you know, is this an opportunity that's real because I read this or I heard about that or, or I know a guy that tried it. Um, and we know sometimes those are just made up stories from some of the competition. Yeah. But what do you have to say to, to that? You know, why would, I guess, what do you feel is the reason someone would, would attack in that way when you know how amazing this is? Your team knows how amazing this is. What, why do you feel that is? So, so a couple things. Right, I, I worked five years at Costco before I got into the financial services industry for five, for 18 years, right? Before that, I was at Costco for five years. And here's what we know as a fact. Not everything is for everyone. Right. I worked at Costco for five years. Guess what? It wasn't for me. Yep. Now I got family who works there. A lot of family, a lot of friends who work there. God bless them, right? Uh, the truth is, Jamie, experience is not for everyone. Yep. And I'm okay with that. Yep. I'm okay with that. But, you know, for those that it's, that, that who, who they may have come here, they, it may not have been for them, you know, when they leave or if they leave and there is some negative uh, um, comments, you know, I, I think that uh, most people do that if there's this negative sentiment. I think most people do that because they have to justify their own inaction, their yeah. own failure. They've got to make themselves feel better about not succeeding at this company who gives everybody an opportunity to right. win here, right? Yep. You know, when I say this company's not for everyone, I mean that, but at yep. the same time, I think that anyone can do this business mm -hmm. if they decide to apply themselves. Because yep. again, we tell people all the time, this isn't a free ride and this isn't easy, right? This is hard work. You're yep. gonna have to come here and work your butt off to change your life. One thing that you know you and I will never ever tell people is that, hey, just come here and follow the system. Yep. Just show up and you'll you know, you'll win. No, yep. that ain't true. No, it's not. You know, the, the, the giants in our business, the giants in our industry, they became that way because they became studs. Yep. They put the work in, they kept getting better, they kept getting better. Yep. I think those that criticize Jamie, um, I think they're lazy. I think they refused to do the work right. and they really had to make themselves feel better and justify that by putting us down right. to make themselves feel better. Right. Uh, th this isn't easy. This is hard yeah. work and it ain't for everyone, right? Yeah. And I love what one of our mentors used to say in the past. He used to say, hey, if you don't want anybody to talk about you, don't get around to doing anything. That's right. Right? And, and, and guys, look, you know, um, Xperia is a wonderful home. It's a wonderful place. We're changing people's lives, our clients' lives, our advisors' lives. It is a special place. We're being recognized by the right sources. The industry talks about yeah. us now. Our insurance partners are are, are all love over us, us yeah. wanting to work with us yeah. and loving us. You know, but, um, but hey, if you guys really want to justify that and really see what's out there, I challenge you to Google. Just type in, you know, I hate Tim Hortons. Yeah. Tim Hortons, Canadian icon, right? Yep. And if you see the stuff that people say about Tim Hortons, unbelievable. No kidding. Or, or Google, I hate Apple. Everybody loves Apple. Apple, Steve Jobs could do no harm, right? Man, there's some people out there who think that if you support Apple, you're selling your soul. Wow. I saw it with my own eyes. It's unbelievable. Yeah. So, you know, when I see things like that, it makes me smile. Because yeah. at the end of the day, you can't make everyone happy. No. Right? No. And that's not our job. Our job no. is not to make everyone happy. Our job is to come here and help people change their lives. Those who choose to do it, those who put the work in, those who are will willing to make the changes, uh, Xperia will be that vehicle to help you do yeah. that. Awesome. That's it. Well, Frank, I appreciate you taking the time here. I know you're one of the craziest, busiest guys out uh -huh. there, and it's always a pleasure, man. Appreciate working with Thank you. Thank you for everything that, that you and Leanne have done for us, man. And I'm excited about us, you know, taking this thing to the next level. Absolutely. Appreciate brother. everything. I appreciate right it. On. Thank you.